Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guests say their daughter dropped out of college to go live with R. Kelly, and they have not heard from her since. That was almost two years ago. They're also worried that she is being brainwashed and held against her will, a charge which, which both their daughter and Robert Kelly denies. Please welcome Tim and Jonjolin Savage. Thanks for coming to Hi. the circle. I it took a lot you. of courage for you to be here, I'm sure, yes. and especially after uh, witnessing some of the things that Andrea right. has talked about today. So we're grateful to have you both. Yes. Thank yes. you. Take us back a little bit. Um, how did your daughter meet R. Kelly? Originally, it was 2015. Um, I had a local boutique in Atlanta, and one of my customers uh, was uh, real good friends was from one of his stage managers, mm -hmm. Kevin Giles. Mm -hmm. And um, she introduced us, and it just went from there okay. to meet Kevin Giles first. He liked what he heard with my daughters, mm -hmm. uh, especially Jocelyn. And he offered to take her to a uh, Atlanta show called Funk Fest. Mm -hmm. okay. That mm -hmm. was the same year. Mm -hmm. So he invited her personally to be a guest, and she was able to go backstage and, and see, um, you know, this how everything works and see the concert from a first-hand perspective. Mm -hmm. And so that's initially how we end up coming in contact with Mr. Kelly. Mm -hmm. Prior to that, John Jalen, did you hear of any of the allegations that were kind of swarming around his name with the mm -hmm. sex tape, with him and young, young girls? I mean, it was even stated and noted that he was married to Aaliyah at the age of 15. Was that any of your concern when you took her mm -hmm. backstage to meet him? Well, initially, um, we didn't go backstage okay. just to meet him like a regular right. somebody he scouts in the audience. Right. This was a professional relationship. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, after Kevin Giles, the manager, sent yeah. her backstage to see his show, um, he then invited her to his show in Indio, California. Mm -hmm. Which every once he invited us, everything was coordinated professionally by his right. assistant mm -hmm. at okay. the time. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we were. I, I'm glad you're clearing that mm -hmm. up. Yeah. I everything really from the car service, the airline tickets, hotels. Um, Everything was coordinated through the assistant okay. at the time. And she was very professional. So we had no reason to doubt that it was anything but a professional relationship. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So we only met Mr. Kelly after that initial show that we right, went to. Right. And as and I was with her, we right. traveled with her. And we after he got through his meet and greet of his fans, we were considered his VIP guest, yeah. or you know, and I even asked the sister, and I said, um, "What? Who did he tell you uh, Jocelyn is?" Mm -hmm. He said, "She said he said she's an artist from Atlanta." Okay. So that was our initial meeting. So it's not like he just scattered her out of an audience. Right, right, right. This right. was a professional meeting. Right. So when did things start to change? I mean, she was in college, and then mm -hmm. you look up, and she's living with R. Kelly. Mm. That that was. Um, <sighs> We, um, after we, the initial meeting mm -hmm. with Mr. Kelly, we came back to Atlanta. Um, he was at the time building a house in the Georgia area. Mm -hmm. And so I told him that when he gets to Atlanta, gets settled, we, me and my husband would meet him together and go over Jocelyn's career because he did uh, mention that he wanted to take on the protege. Right. And so I didn't think anything of it, mm -hmm. you know, long as we were with her. We've always, she's not new to the industry, right, right. but we're always there. Mm -hmm. um, so it's basically, we did from to a mutual friend of hers. We did find out that she had been contacting him outside of our knowledge, okay. mm. and so at that time we decided that we're just going to stop the music right now, just focus on college. And we wrote her into Georgia Gwinnett College in Atlanta. She stayed on dorm. Um, she went one semester summer and then one semester wow. January yeah. 2017. We got a message that um, her dorm room was cleaned out, mm -hmm. and we had just paid tuition for the following for the upcoming semester. And it was, you know, it was after blue was unexpected. Right. Oh my. We my, moved my, her my. in, but we never moved her out. Yeah. My, my, my. Yeah. Uh, with the transition that mm -hmm. she made uh, against your mm -hmm. will and against your knowledge, um, why is it now, her being 22 years old, do you feel that she is being held against her will? They want to bring you in if you want to. Yes, okay. please, Tim. The reason why I think my daughter is being held against her will is because my daughter is suffering from her peace right now, and she was given that disease by R. Kelly because I took her to the doctor and found out that she had chlamydia and when I found out she had chlamydia I was waiting for other tests to come back and mm -hmm. eventually her roommate told us that Jocelyn was suffering from herpes because she was a nursing student and she was treating Jocelyn. 
Oh my I just to add to that, how do we know? Um, we are very close next family. Tim and I have been married for years, and she was our first daughter of three girls. And we've always been close knit family, even from her, her grandparents, her family, extended family. Um, my her granddaddy passed in last year. She was not allowed to come to the funeral. Um, her, her sister graduated. She wasn't Is at Andrea the Is Andrea still here? I'm here. Uh, I'm, I'm we like, wanna, I'm sorry. Sorry. We wanted to bring uh, Drea back in. Yeah. Have come on. Drea, you, oh, you can sit here. Okay. Yes. Um, what I just heard is completely devastating, mm -hmm. uh, and I wanted to bring you back in to know what you went through and to see this family going through what they're going through with their daughter and your ex-husband. Do you have any advice for the Savage family? I do know that she is loved and she's going to come out of it because you laid that foundation for her. Keep her prayed <sighs> up. I just want you to know that I'm supported because like you, my family went to the Chicago Sun-Times to Mary Mitchell when they couldn't get in contact with me, my grandfather, my mom, and there was a whole article about it. My order of protection I had against him was in the newspaper, but I just want you to know that I stand in the gap for Joyce Lynn. And I know that I understand it to a level that no police officer, no counselor, no judge, nobody will understand. And we've done well being checks and they've been unsuccessful. And that's why I'm here because my parents did the same and that's what made them go to the Chicago Sun-Times. And we didn't want to go to the media. We had no choice because they think if somebody's over 18, they, you know, they're grown. They're grown. Yes. But we they're know not. our daughter. They're not. We they're know not. she's not the same. We, we do get the call, free calls we have got, they're like prison calls. Really? Yeah. How do you feel that he's never been prosecuted and now in our society, in a sense, it's, it's constantly repeated itself with him? I think because some, he has enablers. Mm -hmm. You know, just to recently, to my husband and I had the courage to speak out, a lot of these people have now fleed his camp. Mm -hmm. um, they've been enabling him. Mm -hmm. They enable him. And then, or either they take small settlements, mm -hmm. a payment, and that's something we refuse to do. Right. Yeah. But like I said, you know, mm -hmm. he doesn't have anybody there to love him enough to mm -hmm. say enough. Drea Kelly loves him enough mm -hmm. to say enough. enough. Get help. Mm -hmm. yes. And that's how, when you know that somebody truly, truly loves you, they're not going to enable you. They're not going to just turn Absolutely. a blind eye and mm -hmm. say it's okay. Somebody that truly loves you, they yank your coattails. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And they tell you. And you know what? If I have to be that person, I get it. And I stand in the gap, and I understand that I'm a vessel. Yes. I'm so and I'm thankful here to do for God's you work. speaking out. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. We want to thank you all for speaking out as well. We yes. know, well, we don't know how it feels, but you have a safe place here at Sister Circle. And Drea, you know that as well. Yes. And uh, we thank you so much for being with us. Uh, we'll be back yes. with author Michael Eric Dyson right after this.